coming. I know it's Super Bowl Sunday, and I also know the weather is not ideal. So it just, it makes, it's very touching. I have friends here from high school and college and surprises. So um, this is uh, it's just wonderful, thank you. And it's a building that means a lot to me, and I'll talk about that for my platform. But we are honored today. Welcome to um, my crowning. But uh, we want to first hear from the current queen, at least for five more minutes or so. Um, I'd like to introduce Jill Breeze Barr, who has held this title and done a wonderful job in the last year. She was Mrs. International 2015, and she's going to say a few words and then um, do the honor of crowning me. So. Um, again, I appreciate all of you taking your time to be here today for this event. I appreciate my family for driving us here today. Um, we do have a blizzard watch back home, so we just ask for extra prayers uh, as we depart today. Uh, this building is awesome. I'm glad that you picked the outreach as well. Um, I'm a 4-H leader in Clay County, so this is a great meeting for me to teach the Junior Lego League. So I do have something just a little bit prepared. Um, and it's, I, I spent a lot of time in it. I'm gonna kind of go over what my platform was for the year. I do have a bunch of folks to thank, so um, I, I, won't be, I won't be sad if I see eyes dozing for a little bit, but we'll do the little clap, the teacher clap at the end, and we'll get everybody back on track, so. Be the change, be the light. In the fall of 2014, I received a call that would change my life. I had just finished an echo at the cardiologist, and it gotten me all clear when my phone rang. It was Mary Richardson's telling me that I had been selected to represent Iowa in the Mrs. International system for the next year. I looked over at my husband with a large grin and I told him the news and it was a wonderful moment. The international system was a perfect fit. Not only did it celebrate the achievements of married women, but also supported and encouraged family. It partnered with the American Heart Association's Go Red for Women campaign, which was a great fit with my own experience with a heart rhythm disorder and heavily promoted women's contributions to their communities, state, nation, and world with platform work. I focused my efforts on volunteering in Iowa's What's Your 50 campaign, which if you have not heard of that before, that aims to encourage individuals to give at least 50 hours a year in volunteer time. Look it up, volunteeriowa.org, it's a great organization. By the end of my reign, I had traveled nearly 4,800 miles and did 160 hours of platform work. That was all with a full-time job and a, a full-time family. <laughs> I wanted to showcase the many volunteer opportunities that there are out there in hopes of inspiring others to find something that they could be involved in. Some of the highlights of my year include visiting our capital, speaking with our legislators, and singing God Bless America to open the day with our House of Representatives, being featured on the Best Ever You talk show with Elizabeth Hamilton, the number one rated live talk show on Blog Talk Radio. You can look that up on iTunes if you're ever interested. It's a great channel. Hearing stories of how volunteering changed individuals' lives at the Senior Corps Awards Banquet in Lamar's, experiencing the heart and drive of Mrs. International 2014 Maggie Thorne while participating in the Race for Souls benefiting Souls for Souls, speaking and volunteering with hundreds of area youth and meeting some of the most brilliant, kind, funny, and beautiful women from around the world during competition week. Congratulations to Roseanne um, as being Mrs. Iowa for 2016. You have a wonderful journey ahead of you. Being an international pageants title holder is a privilege and an experience that you will not forget. Make the most of every moment and use your crown to inspire others to be a better version of themselves. In only a few short months, you'll be meeting some of the strongest, most driven and loving women at nationals. Have fun with them and learn from them you will make some wonderful connections. I extend my best wishes to you on a successful, memorable, and fun year. I discovered a newfound strength and confidence and reignited my flame during my reign. They say it takes a village, and I couldn't have done it without the following. The Farmers Bank of Spencer, Solutions, State Bank and Community State Bank, Quattlebaum Photography, Deb Meckler, Barbour and Garments by Design, Angie Bennett, Rhonda Olson, Volunteer Iowa and the American Heart Association, my international sisters, my parents, family, 
family members, coworkers, community businesses, and friends, Maggie Thorne, Mary and Mel Richardson, and Mrs. Iowa, or excuse me, Miss Iowa International 2015, Heather Swanson. To Mike, Christian, and Caitlin, thank you for your constant support and your unwavering love. It was a crazy year, but I can't imagine anyone else that I would have wanted to be on this ride. Thank you for sharing this time with me, and thank you for making it complete. I love you. And you know, I was gonna do this. <laughs> Um, to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, thank you for loving me and giving me the opportunity to show love to others by serving. Matthew 5, 16. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. I would just want to take another moment to encourage you guys to look for something that you love. Find your purpose and put that purpose into action by volunteering. Iowa State University, is, <laughs> uh, the extension is a, is a great place to volunteer. Follow Roseanne with her journey, see if you can get involved some way with her platform. Um, just find that purpose, find your drive, find your fire, and find something that you love. Get out and serve, love, volunteer. It has truly been an honor and a year that I will not forget. I have left my legacy and I will still continue to encourage others to be the change and be the light. I am and forever will be Jill Breeze Barr, your Mrs. Iowa International 2015. All right, it gives me great pleasure to crown this year's new Mrs. Iowa International, Roseanne, is it Plant? Plant. Plant. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. lovely speech. We appreciate you being here today. So, um, I also have many people to thank. Um, once again, thank you for everyone who has come. This has been so much fun so far and it's only been about a month and a half and I also was excited when I received the call in December and actually kept it a secret except from some very special people in my life who kept the secret until we officially announced it in January. So I would like to thank Team Plant. So if I call your name, step forward. Couldn't do anything without Mr. Iowa. <laughs> and I have to say, there's a little story. When this interview process was going on, and I visited and told him what was going on, because it was about halfway done before he knew anything about it. I said, what do you think if I did this? And he said something very sweet to me. He said, we've always been kind of a big deal here and to me, I think you should go and show them what a big deal you are. So he, uh, he inspired me and I knew then that this was something that we could do together and we're gonna do it together. So thank you, Mr. Ryan. I have some, I'm gonna call them the Queen's ladies who have kept my secret until it was uh, public knowledge. Christy Valentine, my dear friend, my maid of honor, and uh, my confidant, who I can always count on. Thank you. Liz. Where's Liz? Liz. The mother of my Mrs. Iowa sweethearts and also a uh, supporter of all my new and exciting adventures. Miss Jody Marie. Where's Jody Marie? My, uh, my uh, makeup consultant and, and also a true supporter for everything. Thank you. And Lauren Jansen who will be driving uh, the convertible for the parades, and uh, also 
uh, dear friend and, and inspiration. So thank you, the Queen's ladies. They, they have their pins on, so if you wondered what those pins were, that's their, their pin. So I also want to thank my sponsors. I have Rose sponsors, which are Mr. Iowa, Chad. Hydraulic Sales and Service here of Sioux City, Iowa, and Summit Dental Health are my Rose sponsors. My corporate sponsors, who I'm thrilled to have one of them here today, and that is Carrie and Matt Hubert, who are my official photographer and videographers for the entire year as Mrs. Iowa. They are a Lily corporate sponsor, as is Dream Dress of Sioux City, who has generously um, agreed to dress me for the year. And then we have two Daisy sponsors, Alicia Evans Raber, and Maisie's mom is also a Daisy sponsor. I want to talk just a minute about my platform. Um, as Jill said, the National Heart Association, um, American uh, Heart Association is our, is our national, but each uh, woman that goes to Mrs. International has a platform. And my platform is gardening and healthy eating and school gardens. And along with that, and that's why we're here at the Extension Office today, along with that and my passion for master gardening, I have to say that my service project for the community was actually Chad's idea. Last year at our acreage, we had our first harvest and we were blessed with literally thousands of pounds of produce. And we donated a thousand pounds to the Gospel Mission. So Chad said, why don't we plant more next year and have a Gospel Mission garden? And I thought that was a lovely idea and we were just gonna do it. So when this opportunity came up, I said, what better thing than to feed um, the people who truly needed to feed the hungry in Sioux City with my talent and teach people how to garden. And so with that, I created the Green Ambassador Program with the Gospel Mission. And I am challenging Sioux City and Iowa, but the Sioux Land community, along with Chad and I, 99 people plus us, 100 people who will dedicate a row, a patch, even a plant of hope and say, I'm going to plant this and any produce goes to the gospel mission. So today, I'm recruiting green ambassadors. If you'll notice at the table, there's a white box, okay? And next to it are pledge cards. If you would like to be a green ambassador, please fill out the pledge card, put it in the box, and I'll enter you on a database that I've created and will launch tomorrow that will keep us connected. We will have garden of the week. I will come visit, I will help you plant. There will be a traveling queen's crown trophy that will go from garden to garden and most of all we'll keep track how much we donate and how much we feed to Sioux City. So that is my platform. I'm thrilled Mary Richardson who runs the pageant said no one's ever had a gardening uh, platform in all the years of the pageant so I'm thrilled to be the first person to do that. So uh, that is my platform and now I also have a special program I want to introduce. I have decided to pick two very special young ladies. Their mother is dying right now. <laughs> <laughs> two, oh, hey, it's showtime, Gracie. Two special young ladies to be my Mrs. Iowa sweethearts. Can you stand up? And they are going to ride in the parades and help me in the garden. Can you come see Roseanne? Come on. So, Gracie, I crown thee my Mrs. Iowa sweetheart. Go stand next to Sissy. For Rosanne. Go stand next to Rosanne. Here, Rosanne's got a present for you. Nora, who I was there when she was born, so she's very sweet. Oh, look at pretty Nora. It's a little pretty. That's all right. It'd be fine. That's right. There you go, Nona. That's my you. Mrs. Iowa sweetheart. Thank you, ladies. And then, for any other young lady who would like to come forward, I'm over today. Everybody gets a crown. Everybody gets a crown. Anybody like to come forward? I have crowns for everybody. Well, line up. You have There you go, Miss Anna. Gracie, can you smile? Nora. It's for mommy. Nora. Kind of tight. Nora. Four. Nora, Miss Peggy. Nora, look at I don't know. It's going to stay in, Michelle. Oh, okay. Take it to mom. Here. Yeah. What? I know. Princess Kayla. Come on, Nora. There you go. Next. What you mean? 
They're a little tight. There you go. Oh, no. <laughs> Next, what's your name? Iris. This is, oh, it's a flower name. Sandy's little girl. Oh, turn around. Turn around to Turn around. Good deal. Ellie. Oh, this is Ellie. <laughs> nugget number one. That's nugget number one's name. No, say your name. This is Adeline. Nora. Nora. Princess Adeline. Thank you.